We have to do a Zara haul. Like, I have a shit ton of stuff. So, I ordered a bunch of shit that I don't need, like usual, from the Zara sale. I couldn't resist. And um, I returned the ones that didn't fit and kept the ones that I will only wear and it fits me. So, we're gonna do a massive haul. So, yeah, let's get into it. First thing first, I got this dress. Uh, I've been wanting it for a long time. You know, it's very comfortable. It's super long, you know, 5'9", and it fits me very nice. Uh, I think it'd be really nice with some, like, slippers. Very cute and comfy. Um, and then I got these in the beginning of the sale, so I paid a bit more, and I think they're on sale. Like, they're discounted furthermore. I got this dress to go out, you know. You can also wear it very casual. Uh, comes with a belt, uh, with sneakers or with um, high heels to go out. I got this dress shirt. I love it so much. Um, it's in linen. Uh, I got a, um, I got it in extra large. Super nice. We have these bad boys. I was so excited when I found my size. I was gonna purchase it full so uh, full price, but it went on sale. So why not grab it? Oh, I love them. And we have these ones over here. They look like linen, but they're not. They feel like denim. Um, this is the size 42. I paid 39 for it. I think I saw it today for 19.99, but there are no sizes. Like the, my sizes are all sold out. So yeah, I'm not complaining. I got this top. I ordered it online. I haven't seen it in stores yet. Um, so you can't really wear a bra with it. I am a big chested girl and I was really iffy about it. The back is like that. It reminds me a lot of the Jacques Mousse top. So yeah, I kept it. Let's see if I can style it. If not, I'll return it. And then I got this basic top. Very comfortable with shorts or just any of those denims that I got. Super comfortable. Oh, there's one more pair of denim. These remind me of the Balmain. Um, this was an extra large and I paid 39 for it. Super nice. One more pair of pants. <laughs> I got these cargo um, looking pants the other day uh, for $29. They're low rise. I'm not sure about them. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Oh shit, I'm running out of time. Come back for part two. Okay, so I just got back from Zara and I got some stuff for me and for my mom. Literally got this huge bag. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, so first I got this really cute like corduroy button down. I feel like I could wear it with leggings all the time. It's so soft and feels so comfy. Okay, next, I got these gray sweatpants. As you know, everyone's been wearing like gray joggers with like their Doc Martens, which I have on. So I feel like that could be a look and like a jacket, so yeah. Okay. Then for my mom, I got her this like red plaid top and it has like these little details in the arm and like a cinched waist. She is really tiny, so I try to find her things that are like gonna really show off her figure. Then for me, I just got this black basic long sleeve shirt. I think everyone needs black and white long sleeves for like staples of fall. Okay. Then I got these dope black high-waisted flare pants. They have like this open slit right there and i'm so excited to try these then lastly i got these wide leg pants for my mom they're high-waisted and they have rips in the knee in coming with maybe the biggest zara haul ever i have bought 27 things and we're about to try them all on i obviously can't keep everything so i do need your opinions and help in what i do decide to keep and let's crack straight on with the video okay so starting with this jumper dress it's not giving how i thought it was going to give i kind of feel like i'm wearing a white sack so, gone are the days when their basic knitwear used to be $19.99, now coming in at $25.99, I didn't have a white so I've had to invest. <laughs> and I'm also keeping this on for a while because I have loads of trousers and coats to try on, which this is perfect underneath. I have some wide leg jeans on, they need to go back, I made the mistake of sizing up. I literally look like a swamp. <laughs> the next jeans are also too big and so long, I'm 5 foot 8 and they're literally coming that much under my ankles. No! <laughs> also to be returned, I have some dark brown leggings slash trousers. They're just not giving, they feel not very nice, they've also got a mark on them. They're not the ones. I'm completely obsessed. They are slightly see-through at the back, I just love them though. And I'm staying in this outfit while I try on some jackets. So this is where I really need your help because I'm going to be keeping one out of the three. So this is the camel and it has a detachable fur like snud around the collar. 
Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> it's expensive and I was hoping to not love it. This is, this is just giving, isn't it? I love it. Sorry, but what a fit. <laughs> well, we have the burgundy. Oh God, this looks lovely as well. <laughs> oh no. This is this one. This is also stunning. Oh, this isn't good, is it guys? <laughs> This is not good. <laughs> or we have the emerald green. I think this is maybe my least favorite, so please help me on the burgundy or the camel. However, I do still really love this. So this blazer has to stay. How stunning is this? I love it. <laughs> now I have some more trousers. There are some other trousers and some more blazers, but I automatically know I don't like them before trying them on. And then we have loads of accessories. Returning these, I'm not the biggest fan in the world. This navy jumper is definitely staying, and now stay tuned for the best accessories I have ever found on Zara. Quick firing the boots of the season. Loafers have finally made their comeback, also in tan. The cutest brown clutch, comes in a long chain. I'm sorry, but the bag of the season that slashed my entire future, $25.99. And a gorgeous and classic gold buckle belt. I hope you've enjoyed my first Zara haul. Tell me what I should keep, tell me what I should send back, and I hope you have a lovely day. Did I go a bit crazy in Zara? Absolutely I did, but I'm going to New York and these pieces, honestly, I cannot wait to wear. Okay, so we're gonna start with this little pinstriped skirt and it's got shorts underneath. How amazing is that? This is just giving such New York vibes. I'm thinking of like a white woolen roll neck jumper and some boots. And obviously I bought another skirt. How sick is this blue sequin little skirt? Imagine with some black tights, a black leather jacket, jacket maybe honestly such new york vibes okay i then bought this coat because i was lacking a really really nice and warm coat now this is so sick i love the vintage sort of style brown there and honestly it's the warmest thing i've ever put on in my body it's this fur all inside so this is gonna be ideal in freezing cold next up i bought this bodysuit now i bought this because it just reminded me of skims i'm not gonna lie i have been wearing it all day and i have been loving it i love this sort of khaki color honestly it's so comfortable I then bought another sequin skirt how sick is that i mean it's christmas so you literally could never have too many sequin skirts imagine again with some black tights like a black woolly jumper or something and some black boots honestly cannot wait and then lastly but no means leastly these joggers now these are so sick they're like this cargo style detailing and then i love this seam all the way down the middle as well they fit super super well got them in everything in a size small so yeah that is everything try on part is in the next video I passed the zara this weekend and decided to refresh some basics so i got some t-shirts i thought i'd give a brown t-shirt a go i was kind of loving it with my coloring and then i got this black one which texture is really nice i had to get a large though because the zara sizing is so strange same with the white t-shirt although would really recommend i also got this little going out vest that's like ruched and i was loving it i got it in white as well but i didn't do the transition i popped into zara the other day and picked up a few things i haven't tried anything on so let's try them on together okay first up is this top pins i think i need maybe a size smaller in these jeans because they are a little bit big and they're pretty stretchy but i think the style is really cute they're smidgen long on me but i'm thinking maybe a size down and they're raw hem so i could potentially cut them and this is a little linen top that ties if you wanted to tie it but cute little spring outfit this is a little silk button-down blouse that I got. This is an extra small and it's pretty large, I would say, but I thought it was cute. I don't know if I like it with these jeans, but just like an easy little silk top. Okay, the last thing I picked up is this dress that I'm really torn on, so let me know in the comments what we think. I don't love this teeny tiny little cutout, and I do have to wear a slip with it because it's pretty see-through. Um, I love the blue and white. Is this a flattering style? It sold out online last time I checked, but there are a bunch of sizes available at the Zara in my North Park in Dallas. And so I'm like, well, it must be really cute if it's sold out. <laughs> so I don't know. So let me know what you think about this. I added my Zara favorites list to the link in my bio. So I have everything that I tried on linked in there.